Hello everyone, welcome to Online Math TV. Yeah, we have a Diffatil equation. How do we solve this equation? Now, I have discovered that some of the Diffatil equations cannot be actually solved analytically. They can only be solved using graphical method, and I believe this one is uh, one of them. But uh, I try to uh, use um, the materials within my jurisdiction, the application of some mathematical um, formulas to uh, actually get this solved uh, and I came up with a uh, one if you watch carefully for some time I have not been able to publish video for some uh, reasons okay uh, I want to sincerely apologize for uh, that okay I sincerely apologize for uh, not being able to publish video it's as a result of a project that I'm actually into and the thing is actually taking a lot of my time but for now I'm be on for now okay all right so let's take uh the equation that here so we take our selection a selection all right now before we proceed if you're new to the channel kindly subscribe and when you subscribe turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop a wonderful video also video like the one you're about to watch right now okay so let's take our equation all right so we put down the question we say three to the power of x the plus your s to the power of 2 equal to 5. So the first thing we do here is this. Let's move this x to the power of 2 to this side of the equation. So here we're going to have 3 to the power of x equal to 5 minus x to the power of 2. See s to the power of 2, what comes to mind, and here we're having a subtraction sign here. So what comes to mind is difference of 2 square. So how do we bring out the difference of two square into this system yeah i want to rewrite the five here now so we can have this to be x to the power of three to the power of s rather equal to here we have five to the power of two all over two minus x to the power of two now remember that according to the law of indices says if we have a to the power of mn this is same thing as a to the power of m brackets to the power of n which is same thing as a to the power of n or into the power of n okay so if we apply this law we can rewrite what we have in here now so this will now give us 3 to the power of x then equal to your 5 to the power of 1 all over 2 all to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 2 so here we succeeded in bringing 2 here now okay so what we do next here is easy we succumb to the difference of two square we say that if you have your uh, x to the power of two minus y to the power of two this is equal to your x plus y close bracket bracket x minus y so if we succumb to this rule we can apply it here and so we're going to have this to be your three to the power of x okay this is equal to your five to the power of one all over two okay bracket plus your x close bracket bracket your 5 to the power of 1 all over 2 then minus s close bracket good then we look at this again yeah i want to apply the a product rule to this side of the equation and so before we can apply the product rule we must have two entity here okay we must have the product of two entity here so if i multiply the whole of this by one that will still give us three to the power of x and so i can rewrite this as three to the power of x there times three to the power of zero which is one okay this is equal to bracket your five to the power of one all over two there plus your x close bracket bracket your five to the power of one all over two minus x close bracket good so let's try to equate this to this side of the equation in other words we can take this to this and also take this to this okay so let's move from here and see what this gives us okay from here we now have this to be 3 to the power of x equal to first term here um, is equal to the 5 to the power of 1 all over 2 there 
plus your x, then we have 3 to the power of 0 equal to your 5 to the power of 1 all over 2 minus your x. Let's give this equation 1 and this is equation 2. So if we take this as a system of simultaneous equation, what we do here? We can therefore add these two equations together. So if we add this, this, this will leave. So we're now left with your 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of 0. This is equal to your 5 to the power of 1 all over 2 plus 5 to the power of 1 all over 2. Okay. Again, this is 1, like we said before. So this will now give us here your 3 to the power of s then plus 1 equal to your 2 dot, which is times. Okay, or let me put it here, times your 5 to the power of 1 all over 2. Now, with what we have here now, here, we can find the square root of 5. Then move this one to this other side. So, we're going to have here 3 to the power of x equal to your 2 times 5 to the power of 1 all over 2 minus 1. Okay, so what is the value of 5? To the power of 1 all over 2. This will give us 3 to the power of x equal to 2 times 2.236 or um, approximately 0 here. Yeah. Then minus our 1 here. Yeah. Alright, so if we multiply this out, then we're going to have this to be 3 to the power of x equal to your um, 4 point your 472 okay then minus 1 so we have 3 to the power of x equal to uh, 3.472 now look at the x we're looking for here so it's still at this exponent so what we do here is to take the ln on both sides of the equation so if we ln both sides of the equation we're going to have this to be your ln of 3 to the power of x, okay? Let's put this in bracket, equal to the ln of your 3.472. All right, according to the law of um, logarithm, move this exponent backward here. Yeah. So we have here yeah, x, the ln of 3, equal to the ln of 3.472. Okay, let's continue on this side of the board. Now, with this, look at what we do here. We divide through by ln of 3. So, if we go by that, we're going to have here s into the ln of your 3 all over your ln of 3 equal to the ln of your 3.472 all over the ln of 3. This, this will leave. We're left with our x. s equal to so let's go to our calculator and see to our calculator we have ln of 3.472 this we give us here 1 point your 244 okay so approximately 5 all over ln of 3 ln of 3 where are these to be 1.099 so if we divide down we're going to have here 1.2 Four five divided by one point zero nine nine. That will give us here yeah, x. Therefore, is equal to one point one uh, three two eight. Okay, approximately. All right. So this is the value of our x. Now, if you plug this value into the system of our Daffati equation is going to give you the approximate value 4.7 something something okay which is approximately 5 okay but graphically you're going to have a value that is uh, roughly uh, 1.172 da, 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 da. but analytically this is what I was able to uh, uh, derive or solve from uh, this uh, Daffati equation okay now, if you have any question with regard to this uh, challenge, uh, drop it in the comment section. And um, you have a better way of solving this. 
analytically, not graphically, then also drop it in the comment section. All right. All right. So to the person that uh, actually dropped this uh, challenge, uh, if, it, if it is not clear to you, then drop it in the comment section. And uh, if you learn something from uh, this uh, method or from this procedure, also drop it in the comment section too. Although uh, I might come up with the graphical method of solving this uh, challenge, okay? The graphical method also give uh, an approximate value, not exact value. Of the truth, you cannot get an exact value from here. Okay, you can only get an approximate value from this challenge because this is a bit rhetorical. Okay, so thanks for always be there. My name is Jake's Animal. Once again, I love you, and every one of us at Online Mass TV loves you. Bye for now.